Hi everyone and welcome again to another video in Python programming. In the previous video we talked about loops, the for and the while loops. In this video we will talk about mutable and immutable objects. The word mutable means changeable, something that can be modified. Immutable is the opposite, something that's fixed, it cannot be changed. We will talk about it in the context of uh, programming and data types, integers, strings, lists, and other data types, are they mutable or immutable? Can we adjust or modify its content? Now let's turn to Python to try some of this. We will start by defining three objects. The first one is an integer. Let's say i equals 5. And let's define a list. And let's define a string. Now we have three objects defined. Uh, we've played with this actually in the first couple of videos and we introduced the course. So we could uh, call an element of the list, let's say L1. Uh, we could actually define, say, L1 instead of 5. We can redefine it and, or we can modify it. And that's why lists are mutable objects, so they can be modified. So we can define L1, uh, let's say, 7. And now if you print L, it's one seven twelve. Number five was changed to seven. So list is an example of, uh, of a mutable set. Integers, however, and strings are immutable. They cannot be modified. They can be reassigned to something else. You can redefine i to be a whole different thing. So like you're erasing the previous value and overriding it with a new value. But the content of the original, while keeping the same uh, definition, cannot be adjusted. This might be more clear with strings. So here's the value of s. We could do the same thing with lists. We can say s of uh, say 1, and that would be the letter e right here. So, but we cannot assign this. Let's say if you want to do s of 1 equals some other letter, let's say g, it will not accept that. String object does not support item assignment. So strings are example of immutable objects. They cannot be modified. Again, you can reassign it to something else. You can define S to be something else. That's the new object now, the totally brand new object. That's not, we're not really modifying S. We're just redefining it, erasing the previous value, defining it to something new. So here's what we got. We've got three objects, integers, strings, and lists. Out of the three objects here, we can see that integers and strings are immutable, while lists are mutable. They can be modified. Here's a table that I found on the web that shows uh, data type and whether it's immutable. Boolean variables, they are immutable just like integers. Integers are again immutable. Floats, floating point numbers are immutable. Once you define it, it's it. Otherwise, the only option is to reassign it to something else. A list is mutable. It can be modified. A tuple, we haven't covered tuples yet. They're Objects that are similar to lists, there are some differences. We will talk about it in the next video, but they are immutable. We'll elaborate on this when we talk about it in the next video. Strings, as we saw in the few minutes ago, are immutable. Sets, we haven't covered this, but in the next few videos we'll talk about it. They are mutable, they can be modified. Frozen sets, as the name suggests, it says frozen sets. Once you define it, you cannot adjust it, you cannot modify it, so it's immutable. Dictionaries are uh, mutable, so that you can adjust the elements of a dictionary. We will talk about this in more details in a separate video about dictionaries. The key of a dictionary are immutable, but the content, the values are mutable. So we'll see more details about it when we get there. Here's a couple of important things about mutable and immutable objects. Let's recall the list L we had before, 1712. If you define another list, let's call it uh, M, and you want to define this to be exactly as L. So this is the list M. If you define, let's say, M0, you want to change the first element of, the, of this list, let's say, to 4. Now this is M. The interesting thing is that if you print L now, L has been adjusted as well. So they're both are pointing. So L is pointing to this array here. We define M to L, so M is pointing to it as well. When we change M of 0, the first element, L gets adjusted as well. This never happens with immutable objects, and that's a nice thing, a nice property for strings, for example, which is used a lot in, in different places, like as keys for dictionaries and other places in Python. Uh, they are immutable. This can never happen. 
to it. They're, once they're defined, they're fixed. This will not happen, happen to integers either. So if you define a to be 5, and then you say, let's say b equals a. So b is 5. Now let's define b, change b, the value of b. And this will not affect the value of a. So just to kind of see the distinction here between dealing with a list that's a mutable, that's mutable uh, object versus an immutable object. I hope this makes sense. That's it for this video. We covered mutable and immutable objects. Uh, we gave a list or a table that includes examples of both. In the next video, we will talk about tuples, uh, just another kind of uh, or another data type, uh, similar to lists with some differences. Uh, until then, thanks for watching and see you next time. <music>